here from the AKOptionTrader.com. Well, we've got a short week coming up this week. Um, Monday through, I believe it's half a day on Thursday. And nothing on Friday. Um, just got off of expiration Friday. Um, pretty flat day, kind of like I expected. I expected more of a hammer type thing, but it was more of a doji type type day. But uh, anyway, it was kind of what I thought. Big lots of volatility, um, but close right near our flat to the to the open, uh, which we did. However, the Nasdaq uh, seemed a little bit strong. That they actually seemed really strong, but the Dow was just closed pretty darn flat. So um, we'll see what it holds this week. Uh, we actually had surprising volume, I thought, on Friday. Well, let's start with the VIX like we always do. <clears throat> um, still, the VIX seems to be, if you look here, I got all these lines on here, I know, and I, I just keep them on here, keep a look at it. But if I take them all off, take all the lines of studies, and you can see the volatility we've had come into here with our peak here and peak here. And since then, it's kind of been shrinking, but it's been shrinking down to the downside. It's been making lower highs. This is the third lower high. And it's been, well, it made a higher low and then it made a lower low. So it, it's kind of a sideways thing. But I would say this thing is moving more towards the downside right now. Um, just slightly, but I think so. Um, more to the downside, but it's still moving sideways. So we're, I'm going to watch this uptrend line right here uh, in the future. So uh, off this low here. Let's see if we reach back down and touch this thing or not. We're just taking out these support and resistance like uh, like nobody's business, but they're just good areas to watch. So I'm going to keep an eye on them. All right, and then the Dow, and we can see how it reacted on Friday. Look at the volume down here on Friday. Uh, it surprised me, actually. I did not expect that kind of volume on Friday, but it was options expiration, people closing positions, uh, probably a lot of people getting out for the rest of the year. If I turn off the studies here, <clears throat> you can see... Where we broke out of this wedge I talked about last week, or was it the week before, uh, this pennant here. And I thought this is a pretty good uh, sell signal, but then we touched this here. So I said, oh, we're probably going to be up a day or two and then break back down here. Well, we were up a day or two, but a lot stronger than I anticipated broke out. And now we've come back up to very near our highs and we're rotating back down. And then we've got the spin top doji right here. Um, this could certainly signal a bottom right here, and we could certainly see an up move up into <clears throat> this resistance here, or probably take this out. But I imagine it'll offer some resistance. It didn't here at all. Um, so let's keep an eye on that. But but we are on the bottom Bolger band here, right in this area. So it makes sense for another bounce, another move up here. Okay. Uh, still very toppy. I mean, if you look at the big picture here, this whole thing, we haven't been able to break out to a new high. It's pretty toppy. Looks like it wants to rotate down. So we could see a move up. If we do not take this high out, which, uh, man, I'd be surprised if we really did right now. If we don't take this high up, we're probably going to see a big down move. I'm surprised it's taking this long to get down here to this red trend line that I've been watching for a while here. If we look at the SPX, same type of thing here. But the difference is we did hit this red tread line. This is the actual line we're looking at. The reversed here. Nice job by me. Thank you. Um, if you see this trend line here, if we take out the studies, this is the one we hit. We actually closed beneath it. Now we rallied right back above it. Okay. Um, so this thing, it, it, you kind of got a bearish harami going here. It would be better if this, the bottom was inside the whole candle. It would be more bearish. But nonetheless, it's a, it's a harami type candle anyway. We're underneath the 50, uh, pardon me, the 20 moving average above the 50. Um, this still looks a little more bearish than the, than the Dow does to me, kind of like I've been saying. So, uh, you know, we could fill this gap maybe right up in here or maybe rally back up to here and then see another move down. That's probably what I'd be looking for. Like I say, though, it is a short week next week, but there's a lot going on. Tuesday through Thursday, we have a lot of, lot of news coming out, a lot of data, whereas Friday we had nothing. Talk about the strength of the NASDAQ, and you can see it on this one day, and this is Friday. This is strong right here. Look at this area. We've been high for a long time, which we haven't done since here, okay, for that length of period. Um, we've been high in the RSI. We moved up. Darn near broke out to a new highs here, but real strong day off of this uh, bottom support and this support here off this trend line and support. So... I don't know. I, boy, for us to break out to here would be surprising to me. To, to make a new high, that would surprise me. Especially with the weakness of the euro and the dollar uh, and stuff like that. So let's look at that real quick since I mentioned it. I've been waiting for the euro, the euro-US dollar, to bounce off of this uh, um, 
bottom tra bolger band, the BBV as I like to call it, like it did here. This is what I'm looking for. Let's we're looking for an, a, a couple days off this thing, and then more room to drop. If it rallies straight back up and takes out this high in one candle, then we might have changed, made a bottom here off this doji. Uh, spin top doji type candle right here um, but what I'd be looking for is small moves off like right up in here zoom in a little bit you can see this just move sideways off and then you have your breakdown I call it cliff walking we can see that move off here that's what I've been looking for imagine we're gonna find some support in this area here we got a fib in the 200 moving average so I don't know how much further this thing will go um, before it takes that stuff out and if we look at the UUP Oh boy, it's really slow tonight. Sorry about that. UUP, you can see the strength of the UUP has been amazing. Um, I really expect us to come down and maybe fill a little bit of this gap, if not all of it. Um, and it looks like this candle is telling us that. we got resistance here. Tried to break above it twice now and unable to do so closed right on it. So I'd be looking for a drop down in this area here maybe and then maybe make another run at it. Real good volume here. RSI coming up. Wouldn't mind to see it drop down to the 70 area to make this rally up before more strength. If we just go ahead and take this out, that's incredible strength to me, uh, which would be completely unexpected to me. But uh, anything's possible in this market and in this day and age. So that being said, let's go ahead and look at some individual stocks. Let's start with POT. POT is potash. It has, you can see coming down right here at the top of this gap, has taken that gap out with pretty strong volume um, on a pretty big, strong candle. Um, and took out the 50, it's or the 20 and the 50 both. Um, bottom bones are bands turning down, the RSI is turning down. I can really see this thing moving down the 200 moving average quickly. Um, so keep an eye on that. That's P-O-T. I-N-G, whoops, technical difficulties tonight. I-N-G is another one. Uh, I don't think I've ever traded this one, just one I found looking around at stocks. Eh? It's what I do all night. Um, I like the move off here, off this bottom, off this 8, coming back. Failed to fill the top of this gap been really nice if it got up above the 200 or near the 200 but it looks like it just failed to fill it petered out the only thing I watched is the volume has dissipated the last three days so into this down move so if the volume picks up it might try to take this back out but right now because it filled this little gap right here but I'd be watching this thing here if it breaks beneath this nine uh, this 945 nine I'd say 940 to be safe area I think it'd be a real nice short down here for buck which would be very high percentage play on a uh, low price stock like that Let's look at DVN, Devon Energy. Um, I like, I'm liking this because it was in a range I've been watching for a while. Uh, traded it a couple times. But it, notice here, now we've made a lower high here. Got this trend line I drew in here. It looks like we're perhaps making another lower high right here, right by this trend line. So keep an eye on this. I think if we do not break above this, this holds, we're probably going to go down here and perhaps make a lower low. Uh, beneath 62.50 take this out again so definitely fill this gap but then maybe even go down a little bit further so I, I just kind of like the way that's setting up it looks like it has potential to come out uh, the way I'm thinking it does SAP is another one this is the sending wedge here you can see the the top part is pretty well defined the bottom parts a little loose only two real touches uh, on there it would have been better if this was down here but I like the fact that it's coming into the 20 moving average um, I'm gonna watch this for break or hold so break or hold means if it breaks it we're gonna probably pay up to play up to fill this gap up here if this holds we're gonna play down here to the bottom of the wedge so that's what I mean on break or hold uh, RSA is trending up the volumes kind of trending up into this up move maybe one more day up before it uh, turns around if it in fact does turn out turn around and last one for the night uh, short video since we have a short week O'Reilly, O-R-L-Y. I just like the way this came down. Touch this trend line, this support line right here um, that broke right in this area. I love the way it came down, tagged it, and then rallied right back up and is sitting on top of the 200 moving average right beneath the 50. Uh, looks like this thing might rally a little bit. So I'm going to keep an eye on this, uh, perhaps to make a move up. Obviously, if we close beneath the 200 moving average and all bets are off, and I think we're probably going to retest these lows in this area here. But if this 200 holds, uh, I think we're going to pop back up and, and maybe make another buck or two move up. Looks like the RSI is wanting to turn up. So that's it. we got a short week, but we got huge news coming out on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Existing home sales, personal income, personal spending, and then Thursday we've got uh, initial claims. Uh, so on continuing claims so if it's a low volume week we're probably going to see a move up if it's a high volume week i think we'll see a move down so let's be the ak option trader trade uh, yeah.